Good morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever it is, wherever you are, from me, Bishop Bishop. Well, today, I want to talk about elimination, and I want to talk about movement. And somehow these two things go together, though I'm not exactly sure how yet. Our cats have been pissing and pooping everywhere. It's a little complicated. One of our kitties got really sick. And one of the reasons I didn't do a vermin last week was because I was rushing to the vet and uh, dealing with some issues there. Well, his bladder got blocked and he was leaking everywhere. And our other kitty decided to piss everywhere because he was leaking everywhere because she had to, like, mark up where he had been marking. And then... So he came home after being at the vet for three or four days, and then he was still leaking a little bit. He seems to have stopped leaking, finally. But So she had to keep pissing places, and then he had to pee places, not just leaking, because she was peeing places. And then my daddy lived next door, and he's got indoor-outdoor kitties, and they come sniffing around the edges of our house. And our cats seem to get pissy about that, literally and figuratively. So they seem to pee places, and it's getting really annoying. Well, this morning, my spouse woke up. And we've taken to covering the stove in a couple of trash bags because they like to pee on the stove, which is more than a little annoying. He woke up and found a big old pile of poop on the stove, which is really just poopy. It's just a crappy way to wake up in the morning. I don't know what caused whoever to poop on the stove, but there it was, and he cleaned it up. And then I noticed later, I went out to where the kit litter boxes and uh, there was like poop on the floor not just in the box and the poop in the box hadn't been covered there's just some issues going on with territory and marking I cleaned it up and I sprayed the anti kitty pee spray on the spots that looked like they could be piss cleaned that up and well I just dealt with it it's frustrating I really wish my house didn't smell like cat pee Thankfully, it's past AC season, and so the windows are open, and the house can air out. But cat piss is a particularly nasty smell, and it kind of adheres to things long after you think you've cleaned it up. But you just got to deal with it. And there might be strategies we can try, things we can do to fix this problem. But the reality right now is just a lot of mess. When I've been depressed, it'd be easy to just leave the mess. I know that sounds bizarre, but when despair has dragged down my ability to function, one of the things that gets dragged down is the ability to do things like clean up messes. Messes seem like they're too much. You know, and I did a vermin sometime in September about cleaning up the spilt sugar. I wonder how much we collectively are in despair. We have all these messes. And some of them are tragic, and some of them are really horrible. And many of them are just, well, they're just what they are. And if we just buckled down and did something imperfectly, we might get somewhere. The trick is to not get frozen. The trick is to choose to move. One of the messes we have here locally in Gainesville, Florida, is that all the food banks are empty. They're like, the cupboards are bare. And I have to wonder, now I regularly donate both money and labor to making food for one of the groups that feeds homeless people. And I tell people what I do, and they're just amazed. It seems so hard to them. Now, I'm not suggesting that everyone spends three days making five gallons of soup. That's probably not 
the right decision for most people. But I wonder why it's so hard for people to buy that bag of rice and take it to the food pantry. That bag of rice could save someone from being hungry. It's a mess. And we need to stock those shelves to order our world a little. So my challenge to all y'all is to do something today, at least this week, that deals with one of those messes, those collective messes. My favorite thing these days is food security, so you could do something along those lines. Right now, people around the world, people in your neighborhood, perhaps on your street, are going hungry. And so, you should feed them. And this is my kitty coming to say you should feed them. Until next time, take care. My kitty stepped on the button on my computer and, like, it stopped. So, I'm going to finish up. Until next time, take care and keep on keeping on.